Here are some supplies you'll need for your paper plate rainbows. Paints in rainbow colors, a paintbrush or sponge brush, an old cup, yarn or string, glue, blue sequins, a hole punch, scissors, paper plates, glitter scrapbook paper or gold glitter, paper towels for cleaning, and a pencil. <laughs> Say hi guys. Hi guys. Okay, sit down. Today what are we going to make? A rainbow. A rainbow. And we're going to make the rainbow out of paper plates. Are you ready? Okay. All you need is a paper plate. I'm going to fold it in half. <laughs> and this will be my guideline for cutting the paper plate. Okay. Why do you have to cut it? Because we're going to make a rainbow half. <laughs> See how there's a line here? And oh. now we can cut across. And we'll each have a rainbow. Oh. There you go. <laughs> and now you can take and just, if you need to, you can draw a line or you can freehand it. I'm going to draw a line for Henry here. And we're going to go... Okay, and you can just cut out that little bit, okay? okay. Cut this part out right there. Okay. And then I'm going to cut mine out. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. Okay. So what side are you going to paint? I'm going to paint this side. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use all the colors of the rainbow. So we have our cup of water here to rinse it out when we need to switch. And make sure you have a paper towel handy. So we'll start with our red. Mom, look, it's a rainbow hotel. Yeah. Rainbow's hotel. Okay, so I have here a half inch little brush. So that's what Henry's going to use. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you take the half inch brush and you just use it to measure out your color sizes, then you can draw that out for your child so they can just follow the line, right? And if you want to, you can use watercolor paints. Whatever paints you like, you could color it in with marker or a color crayon. Yes. yes. And this project does take a little bit of time, so it's something that you can do the painting and then either later on in the day or the next day, you can finish up putting on your a uh, pot of gold and your rain for the rainbow. Yes, I am doing this. And we dry it off. Yes. Mm-hmm. Put this over by you. And now we'll dip into our orange. Bring it up. Are you gonna oh. whoopsies? That's okay. I can wash it off. Are you going to hang it in your room? Yes. Now Henry's about four years old and so this is a good project for him. Um, if you have younger kids, I would suggest either getting really big paper plates or um, using just four colors for the rainbow instead of using so many because it's small detailed work. So for Henry, he's enjoying it and he likes to take his time. But younger kids might get a little frustrated. But you're doing excellent. I'm almost done with the green. Then you'll run to the other. Then what color's next? 
Blue. Blue, yes. After you're done painting, you have to hang the raindrops. Yes, when we're done painting, we <laughs> hang the raindrops. Yeah. <clears throat> but what happens? We have to let this dry first, right? Yeah. While Henry's finishing up his rainbow, I'm going to finish cutting up the yarn that we're going to glue our little <laughs> raindrops onto. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's stuck on me. Okay, so we'll take and cut seven pieces of yarn. It doesn't matter what length they are. You're just going to do different lengths. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Wow. So kind of mix up the different lengths so they hang. We're going to attach them all behind here with some, um, with some glue, I'm I done. think. <gasps> good job! <sighs> so now <laughs> it's a good time probably to take a break and get some snacks while our rainbow is dry. Yeah. Okay? All right. While Henry enjoys his snack, I'm going to draw and cut out the pot of gold. You can freehand this or find a small picture of a bowl and trace that. Now I'm using the first cutout to make several more just in case the older boys want to make one after school. You'll need a hole punch to punch through the top of the rainbow if you'd like to hang it. So you do the hole punch, take one of your strings and tie it, pull it through the little hole and tie your string. Then you flip the rainbow over and you can glue the pot of gold onto the yarn and the rainbow or you could take a stapler if you wanted to do this more quickly. Say you're doing it for a birthday party or your kids are impatient and they don't want to wait for it to dry with just glue. So you would just staple it at both ends and then it's ready to go right away. So on this side, what I did was I used glue. I just put some glue on a plate and dabbed it on here and then stuck the yarn onto the glue. Again, if you'd like, you could either put a hole punch in each section, so you need seven punches, and you can tie the string or the yarn onto through the hole, but that can take a little extra time. So what I would suggest, if you don't want to let the glue dry, again, go ahead and staple each of these onto the plate. Then what I did down here, and you can see that these are all staggered, they're not the same length, it doesn't matter. You can put a bunch together, you could do one or two, it, whatever you'd like to do. So for the little raindrops here, what I did was I used the same method, I just took a little brush here, dabbed it in the glue, and then stuck the sequin on but I used one on each side, so if it flips, it's going to be pretty either side. What I would suggest if you're planning on doing this for several children is to have everything ready before you get started. So I would cut out all of the paper plates beforehand into the little rainbow shape, and then I would take your sparkly paper and draw out little templates for your pot of gold. If you wanted, you could have them still cut them out. You could just cut it out in a square and they could cut it out. Or you can have them completely cut out for the kids. Then make sure that you've cut all of the strings. That'll be much faster, so just cut up a whole bunch of strings, different lengths. Also, if you don't have this sparkly paper. Um, this I found at Hobby Lobby and it's in the scrapbook section. 
Let's see, it's called uh, Chunky Glitter Gold. So it was found in the scrapbooking section. And if you can't find that, this is really uh, firm. So you could just take another paper plate and go ahead and cut that into the shape and then use some glitter and turn that into your pot of gold. Thanks for watching. Bye.